Premium account. What is the premium account? Ah, double experience. And 150 income. Cool. Okay, okay. Increase the limit of dynamic campaign mission which give reward. Allows to make squads consisting of more than two players. I'm not sure about this. As it is, I can get four guys in a squad. So maybe it's a bug, maybe it's the beta. I think they have. It's a force loss for the cost. Oh, I should show you the um, customization options. That's it. You might have, you might unlock victory, yay, achievements, yay. It was easy. Around an aircraft area. It wasn't really easy, it was a complete mess. I managed to hit the deck of the aircraft, the nose of the aircraft, my wheels. Then I went over the top, I flipped, and I somehow landed to, uh, with the right side up on the carrier. And the carrier was good enough to repair me and launch me in the air. <laughs> uh, you get unlocked, you can unlock skins. If I remember how to watch, find that shit. And the little challenger skins, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Player skill. So there's a lot of stuff to aim for. You have to get skills with the Spitfire, get with that shit. 1942, IL-2. Again, not everything is for everyone. Decals, point star. So yeah, uh, I was saying. Choose a decal, you can only choose one. You need premium account? No, thank you. I'm good. The uh, thing is, I'm not sure if those actually work if the premium expires. So you might actually buy premium. I can buy premium for one day, that's it. As you can see here. Well, this is all free experience I got f by doing the tutorial. Free gold. Golden Eagles. Save 10%, save... <laughs> Premium planes... Nah, they don't seem to be that dangerous. Some of them are. From what uh, some of my friends actually tell me, the Soviet rank get a lot of shit. I mean, look at this. Machine guns and free bombs. Rank 4. I-15 gets rockets and cannons. Rank 5. That's, as you can see, the I-15 the I is maneuverable, this one, uh, no, this one, this one, it's very maneuverable. Imagine, think about the fact that bioplanes are even more maneuverable. So you have a bioplan with 20 meter cannons, it's gonna kill everything that's around there. Of course, rank 3, while this one's rank 1, so maybe, or uh, rank 5. <coughs> oh, yes, god damn it, forgot. Show, I can weapons, blah 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 blah. Rockets are better, obviously. You have more of them. You can kill bombers with it, which is such a shock to Catalina pilots when you come up behind and shoot rockets in them. That's fun. You can information. I can't test flight. That's well, <laughs> never mind. I'm a derp. Derp, derp, derp. You have the decals, you have allies. It's good that it's not nation limited, so you can get all, can make uh, kill marks Japanese decals on a Soviet Union plane. <laughs> There's not enough options for them, however. So you can flip them, and uh, flip them. You can rotate them, increase their size. Okay, there's plenty of options, but. You'll find yourself not being friendly. You also two side them. See if I put there two sides, can be on the other side. The problem with two sides is that obviously it's not gonna be symmetrical because you can't be able won't be able to read it if it's symmetrical. For example, um, what is it? Uh let's find something that's actually in English. So <laughs> I know people understand in Russian. There's a lot of you around. Slow but sure. Oh god. Damn it. Oh, yeah. Right? To science, slow but sure. Yeah, it's cool. You can read this, right? The problem is when you have signs, you can't choose how you flip them, right? So, if you want to have, for example, 
that way is what is it what is it USSR see if you want to have the arrows yeah see you're gonna have them like that and like that so you need to waste two decal slots on having both arrows pointing forward that's something they might want to change but as it is eh, which limits you when you're thinking about customization because if you're wasting two decal slots on having arrows then you're stuck you're, you only have two decal slots but again you can do a lot of it you can just increase them make, them, make your entire plane white the problem is the bigger it is the harder it is the crappier the quality gets on it <laughs> It's trying to simulate that the paint was rushed or something like that, see? But when you enlarge it, the missed spots become so, become so obvious, so obvious that it's, uh... <laughs> it's not really realistic anymore. And again, you're going to the problem of two sides not matching. <coughs> right, let's show you a historical battle. Uh, probably gonna fail. Badly at it. Okay, I'm guessing the only historical battles at the moment are American versus Germany. Okay, 24 only in the coup. Now, <sighs> I'm assuming this is gonna be a problem with people. There's not enough people playing it, and because of the many ranks, you won't actually find the battle you're suited for. 288 9 battles waiting on average waiting time 1 minute 40 no 1 okay well we're over the average waiting time uh, yeah another problem sometimes it takes too long to join a battle and I mean even arcade battles well, yesterday morning it was I think a bug basically I had to wait 5 minutes for an arcade battle there was like 300 men in, people in the queue and still didn't want to send me in a battle maybe there weren't enough people my rank you know Whatever the match, don't believe this shit. Zero four ranks, nope. That's more like that. Above rank two, you're gonna get into rank six or higher. So yeah, usually between rank two and three, you're gonna get maximum rank six. Um, and that's me guessing because obviously the way the research tree is, there might be I might actually be fighting rank eight battles, but the sooner. Because of the variations, I'm only assuming it's rank 6 because that's the minimum ranking at the P49. Uh, at rank 4, I saw King. Uh, I saw King uh, Area Cobra. So King Cobra, I mean. I think that's rank 8 or higher, or 10, something like that. But again, you can kill them if you're careful. Also, I don't know this mission. The American forces have breached the German defenses and are rush you're rushing to reach Bastogne. Both sides are tired from the heavy fighting, but fresh tank corps. But fresh tank corps, which can change the tide of battle, are on their way. Several aircrafts are allocated by the bombing aviation groups of both sides strike the enemy forces. In this mission, you can spawn only once. Choose your aircraft carefully. Okay. Well, this is new. <coughs> Operation Bulge. Firstly, we have to bomb Bastone, they have to, well, I have to, they have to bomb Bastone, I have to kill their tanks. Oh man, I don't have aviation for any of this shit. My German does mech and my medic mechanics are a bit better. I actually have a P-40 in my hand, I'm worried. Then again, I'm worrying because I don't know what rank they have. They might have like ginormous bombers of doom with bristling machine guns. A big ship needs a big torpedo. Also, the loading, loading times. Oh crap! Shit, I forgot to choose my side. Fuck. <sighs> One cannon. One cannon it is. It's a 20 minute cannon, should be good, but oh my god. Oh god. Don't, don't. You can actually go inside them. Found code is a beef EF 110. I might actually like historical battles, depending on how the control works. The control is good enough. Focal Wolf 190, A5. Yeah. 
doesn't actually show me what did happen. That's cool. That's actually cool. So far. Erp. Wow. Oh my god, that's a lot of swaying I have there. Also, I need to be careful about what I'm doing. Because in this game mode, I'm supposed to be losing air speed. Stop, Stop doing this. Also, uh, keyboard rolling is harder. The joystick can do it faster than why. So, one bomber per side. Is that what it's saying? Oh, it looks, certainly it looks like we have only one bomber. We have a, oh no, we have one ten, but that's fighter bomber. We have focal wolf, the bomb. Junkers 87, a Stuka, another 88. It's not a Stuka, by the way. The maps are also gigantic. Look at it. They are talking about adding uh, playable warships and tanks to the same engine. Or on the same engine. I don't know. Not, sh not sure if they are actually planning on doing it. I haven't actually read up on the game guys, I don't know what they're planning, this, this is just hearsay, basically, so pretty as it is. Now the Q61 crashed. <laughs> Yay! I was worried but then again I remember the Q61 is a premium plane. Let's go. Oh crap, I mean this thing. This thing tends to be uncontrollable if you pick up any kind of speed, or at least it's uh, younger brother, the one with two 7.7 .7 machine guns. Why am I in front? What the fuck? Oh crap, I don't actually have a reload. And I shot my cannon rounds, crap. Uh, 109G, I think it's falling. Yep, last control, probably, no. Bum, 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 bum. I'm really far. Oh, there we go. We have a target, everybody. It's a target. It's flying. It's doing stuff. Those are our tanks. Wow. We are holding post. Who the hell is attacking? Why the hell are the German taking? Bulge. No respawn. Ah, there you go. I'm a rank 4. 3 actually. No fighting in the same battle as the DF-109 rank 16. So, definitely might be an issue in here with ranks. But again, there's only like 50 people trying to play in this. Uh, 250 trying to play this at the same time, so... Can't be too caught, bro. That's P-40E. Hello, tank column. 8 kilometers medium time. I am definitely not gonna be. Man, imagine having a couple of bombs just pounding the shit on that road. <laughs> so many kills you might have. Uh -oh. F4U. Oh, yeah. uh, he's gonna go head on. Head on for me. Yeah. And I'm dead. I shot him with a cannon, and as you can see, nothing fucking happened. I'm shooting with a 20 meter gun, and he's coming with. Uh, oh, I should have left the bomb. You cannot respond on this mission, so that's that. Okay, let's watch you. As I said, you can hit the enemy, and stuff might not happen. There you go. Well, that's the. Historical battle for me. It certainly seems to be suffering from uh, problems, mainly rank differences. But they might that might sort itself once there's, once there's enough people playing. Probably, maybe. Okay, go avenge me. This black hole killed me. Yeah, Chunker 87 is down. You can see how fast he killed it. It's a Corsair, yeah, I'm fighting with the rank free bullshit. <laughs> mm. 
Uh, Corsair should actually be better at turning. Man, he's gonna crush. Crash? Crash? No? Oh, he got it. He won. The Corsair is trying to land, its engine died. Yeah, that's the problem with the very complaint. The engine dies very easily. And took me that idiot. I think it was a friendly trying to shoot the same plane and shooting our friend in the butt. The enemy is mm. winning. We must counterattack. Fucker wolf. Looks like cannons now. Okay. Well, thanks for watching the historical battle, guys. We'll go. Let's go back to our. <laughs> Somebody lost the wheel there. Well, they're not gonna land anytime soon. Biplanes, I mean, come on, Focal Wolf on 19 biplanes in the same battle. Yeah, there's definitely some issues with the game mode at the time, but again, there's not enough people playing it. Speed 26, and I had the misfortune of actually going for a fucking Corsair. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. Then again, that was if I had avoided him, he would have out torn me. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, some people actually have quite a lot of imagination with the decals. <laughs> uh, looks nice. Bomb them. Ah, the German dropping magical bombs. What are you dropping at on? Oh, over there. Right, I'll see you in an arcade battle. Let's show you one more arcade battle, just for fun. Yeah, as you can see, it's definitely not worth it as it is. <laughs> Hits, one. I only landed one hit. It's not like I landed more. Experience-wise, yeah. Unless you're very good at it and you have a joystick, a good one, and a, you're confident in your ability, and or and or you have a high enough tier or a high enough bomber, yeah, not for me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Let's take something that actually relies on more on dogfighting. So the dogfighting, my bow fighter. Well, you're in luck. I don't remember, I haven't actually played this battle either, this map, or specific, destroy enemy aircraft, it's a basically destroy ground targets, but it's a new map, and no, I'll be damned if I actually know what it is. As for the weather, I remember actually playing on what's supposed to be the, the channel battle, Normandy battle, which was fucking awesome, it was foggy, it was late at in the evening, there was flak everywhere, it was raining, oh man, awesome. I'm gonna get me my bowfighter. The bowfighter has 20, has 4 20 millimeter cannons. Four of them! It's also a very uh, an agile plane. Your mission is to destroy the enemy's ground equipment and bases. Back to my arcade. As you can see, the response is way here, way better here. Even if I'm actually in a heavier plane. You also have uh, different viewers. Machine gun view. On board view, uh, fighters get cockpits. This one doesn't because I don't know why. It doesn't. Yeah, 7, P40, F6, PF1 and I. That's rank 6, A20G. That's my target. Oh man, what a mess. 49 Q. I don't really want to go in there because obviously all idiots are staying in the back. Well, I'm gonna say calling them idiots, but why not be? DF-09. DF-09 kind of thing. Is somebody coming after me? No, he ignored me. Cool. Oh shit. I wasn't paying attention.
Oh shit, I only have one left here. What the hell do I have on left? Alright, you have 109. Go the fuck away. Oh, come on, really? Fucking hell. Bail! I always land a couple of good hits on a fucking 109. And fuck me. What the hell is in this battle? Yak 7B, Hellcat, 109, Skitty Hawks. <sighs> I got ahead of myself, guys. I mean, basically, I went in the middle and duked it off with everyone. This is a stupid thing to do. Seven. Junkers. Let's go for Junkers. Do I have this? No, it's actually a speed fire. As you can see, I need a fucking lot of bullets to kill something. You will not be shooting my fucking bows down. Of course, he might be shooting if I need a shit ton of bullets to kill him. Go away. Okay, I'm only having. That was down. What else is here? Mm -hmm. Oof. Also, the free look is a bit iffy. Hey, that. TDF. Hello, a 20G. I shot you with a 50 12 meter cannon. She had dies. Sick thing. Yeah, they're winning because. They killed a lot of our ground forces. And we didn't. Not because they have fucking more F6 Fs. Wild cats again. Alright, oops. oops. You all saw that, right? Takes for fucking able to kill somebody. I take for fucking able to kill something. They fucking slaughter me in one shot. Both other as well. And also, my team is content and going all after the same guy. Ah, fucking reloading. Go down a bit, don't want to pass by him and then end up with him on my turn. It's helpful. God damn it, strong down as well. Maybe I fucked his engine. Nah, I'll suck back. Of course, I'm also missing a lot. <coughs> what next? Great! No wonder we're losing. I'm fucked, my team. Great, great, great. Awesome. Fantastic. <laughs> I lost my fucking bow for that. That's sad. Really fucking sad. Should have waited. They shouldn't have rushed forward. It was basically my mistake. Should have dodged, tried to outmaneuver the. Whatever the fuck it was, the wildcat, hellcat. Six F. <sighs> Losing boats. We need to put more pressure on the enemy. They're winning. He has torpedoes in the boat fighter too. Yeah, the boat fighter can't actually carry bombs. And then, let's load the cannon. The machine guns. I only have eight of them. Eight seven point seven machine guns. Because the British are herb. Go away. Hey, don't leave me alone. No, hit the fucking engine, yes. Well, maybe he got lucky. Oh crap. Fucking tail gunner. Oh shit. Yeah. The airfield is way out of range. This is fucking annoying. Basically, yeah. Uh, the problem with higher ranked people is that they can train their gunner better and they can shoot you well better. They're more accurate. That's the only problem I can think of. Oh. Yeah. It's 
it's not straight, right? The sword. Yeah. Because trying to make it straight up there didn't make it center down below. There you go. Push nose down. Okay, push nose down. Well, do we have any boats here that can save me? Flaps combat, flaps raised. Should have gone with flaps combat. Then again, I did a mistake back. I'm behind the enemy. Behind the bomber. I don't actually make it. Why take my. No, it's not fucking way I'm gonna make it. Could take the Blenheims, but meh. Fucking Blenheims. Well, let's get our wheels back up. Maybe we can have some more. Ah, so close to the airfield. Well, J, J, oh, okay, J, it's sinking, <laughs> uh, fuck you guys, I'm using rockets, <laughs> it's not like it works, but, Hurricane Mark II has 12 machine guns to do, I'm still first, wait, so sad, so encouraging, I'm gonna go for those. All boats. I'm assuming those are actually shootable by cannons and machine guns. You know, messing to making some assumptions here. Don't really seem to be the Cool. Oh shit. Really? What the fuck? Fucking kitty hole almost ran almost ran me. What's on this side over there? There's something over there! Something, I don't know what it is, but it is. Some destroyer there soon, fighting each other out. But yeah, the the problem is, is that they'll implement tank and naval warfare in the same game as well with uh, no with fight and combat. Plane war. Plane war. Plane war! The war of the planes! But the horses line. Oh, it's a destroyer. The models are pretty good. I could actually make out the Yamato and the Bismarck. Hello, I come in peace. Hmm, I actually have three minutes for the recharging time on this one. I don't know why, but Well, I can't wait three minutes around here. The battle might end by now. Stop shooting me! Yeah, flak is dangerous in this game. I mean it. It's really dangerous. Well, not dangerous as much as random. You can fly like 4,000 meters up and boom! Get one shot by a AA. Throw up your wing and die before you actually do anything. Well, it's three destroyers. You should be able to handle one destroyer. Does anyone know where this place is supposed to be? Because I don't remember of any destroyer fights in, in this kind of environment in World War II, but... Uh, typhoon? Oh my god, ah, I really ended up in a high enough battle. DF-109, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the thing about fighting in higher tier battles is that people know what you're doing. Why the hell am I going? Um, I'm gonna have to save him somehow. And by save him, I mean run the fuck away. Nope. Nope, no, 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 no. Alone against four? Nothing. <laughs> yeah. Our team is rushing headlong one after the other while the rest of the new drops. 
busy killing that one guy over there, failing. Koki. I had some kills to his credit. I need to punish him for that. Oh, he's dead now. There's also a lot of nothing happening at times. What do you do? Yeah, people. Again, the biggest problem is, of course, the team. They're doing a stupid thing. Pitfire F34F A6M. Oh, I don't know. I mean, as you can see, everybody's ignoring this guy. That's a fucking Corsair, really a fucking Corsair, man. Come on, just break off and give me a fucking break. Die. Slow down, slow down. Combat laps. You fucking die already! Jesus fuck, I'm shooting you with 12 machine guns. You're supposed to fucking die. Nah. Fucking reloading now. And I'm right in the middle of them, chasing after the Corsair that won't fucking die. Crashed? No, he didn't. Come on! Oh, fucking balls! And I have to wait. Fuck it, man. I mean, I'm not in my... Ah, you fuck! Don't know what the fuck happened, okay? Shot him until I ran out of bullets and then he was still flying. Now, engine troubles, no fucking nothing. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. And now you know what's, why it's called the McWhiny. Because free-to-play games are inherently whinable. It's in the nature of whining. What the hell is that up there? Ah. Yeah. Let's get him. Let's get him. Do I still enjoy the game? Yes, it's annoying at time. Yes. Do I plan on buying premium for it? Not yet. Obviously, I don't plan on buying premium on Dying. Sick one dying. Catch up with him. Oh, he didn't kill anything, that's good. Danger motherfucker. Where the fuck are my bullets going? Jesus fucking Christ, really? And there's this problem. I ran into him and he's not fucking dying. But of course I lose my wing because I'm a low rank. Stuck with these fucking bombs. Go, Blenheim! Where us are the out ratio? Well, the destroyers kill those shit over there. Speedfire is pretty high up, man. You do need a lot of planes. Oh, that guy has six planes in the hangar. Had. So you can assume we buy some. Or you use the fleet. No big assumptions. P-39Q... Remember, P-39Q... F-6F... Now I see... Large pillbox... And... Another large pillbox. Get some altitude, but the Spitfire is over there. Luckily it has a wild cat on its tail. P-40... Kitty Hawk, I mean. Dun, 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 dun. 
Higher, always higher. I think the maximum ceiling for this one is 8,000 meters. I never reached that maximum ceiling because you get in the cloud and you can't actually see what was supposed to be burning. Uh, okay, that's our target right there. It's taking a lot longer. Beaufort. Crap, fucking hell was gonna kill him with my kill. Fucking hell. I have to wait to fly around for one minute. Victory is ours. Let's go home. Yay! He had bombs. I did nothing, basically just shot this down. <laughs> <sighs> well I did something, okay, let's go with that. Meh. Yeah, let's just look how rank, how high that rank was. So what do they have? They have Typhoons, rank 7. That was rank 5, okay, that's doable. I don't know what Typhoon it was. Might have been either this one or this one. Don't think so. Okay, they have X, F6, F. Rank 6, okay. F4U Corsair, it's rank 7. P49Q rank 6. What else do they have? Have Havocs. Havoc, Havoc, Havoc rank 5. Uh, uh, I don't know what else. So, okay, it wasn't that high a rank. Okay. Final notes. Give it a try, guys. You can all, it's free to play, free to install. You can always uninstall it if you don't like it. Just remember. Play for a while. My recommendation is play until rank 6 and then decide if you're gonna spend money on the game. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.